Let's uh, let's dive into this. And if this guy's watching, um, you can take offense to all you fucking want. Um, you're an idiot. All right. So here's an idiot for you. Point high. Says he's been doing concrete construction for 23 years. I don't give a fuck if you've been doing it 40 years. You cannot add the water without a trade-off. All right. Water's not for free. Yes, the lazy people like this, they, they, they disgust me, as you can hear in my voice. They disgust me because they don't want to, they don't, they don't have the right manpower to get it done properly. So they add water. His argument is that, uh, what about the riding trial machines that have a water tank on them? Okay, so here's his answer. There's a, a patent that someone put there in 1980s. They put a patent there, 1980, worldwide application. 1980. This is the year 2020. That's 40 years ago, buddy. And, you know, technology and knowledge has changed um, since then. Adding, and so the background is you add a little bit of water there. It says put it on the blades. The, the intent is to have the water on the blades um, to allow the blades to move more easily. Uh, the nozzle does, and it gives you a better finish, they say, on the blades. Of course, if it's on the blades, it goes onto the surface. You're going to get delamination issues uh, possible, but you, you can't have, you can't add water after initial set is done. It's done. Initial set of concrete. It's now done. You, you cannot add water to it. At the point that you're, all your bleed water is gone and you're now trying to add water to it, you're trying to, to make an artificial cream, if you will. Um, I know many guys have done this. These are the old guys from the 80s mostly. And this guy is stating he's been doing it for 23 years. So he's uh, 23 and he claims to have done over a million yards of the shit. So, well, why would you call concrete the shit? If you've made that much money doing concrete, you don't call it shit. You go, it's a beautiful thing. So this this is uh, this is also disgusting to me that you refer to it as this capacity. And a little water is used for a hard trowel finish at the time. The rider actually has a spray on them. I'm not saying to soak the floor, but a little spritz doesn't hurt a thing. All right. So first he's stating the floor. Then he, my, my, my response to him was such that it's stupid. Now he's now stating not to soak the floor. Well, well make up your mind of what your, your intent of this water is. What is the intent of adding water? It, you didn't have the manpower. You didn't put it, place it properly. Uh, you, you, it's too late. It's too late. Look, when your when your when your cream comes up, your moisture's coming out of your lower part of your of your of your concrete's coming to the surface. It's evaporating off. Once it evaporates off, that concrete and that finish up there, if you will, the paste, it's now because you you probably got a little bit of paste up there now, and, and the stones are, are below it. That paste is a has been activated by the water already that's been added in this mix in the slump. It, it's it's done. You do not add water to it. You're going to break it up at this point. If you guys want to expose aggregate, what do you do? You let it you let it uh, evaporate. You let the uh, initial set happen. The uh, the um, evaporation takes place where you have your 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 bleed water evaporate. And then you take a, a hose to it, a light hose to it, and you'll wash that cream right off, and you'll have that exposed aggregate. Now, it's, it's right about timing on this. You want to let that, you don't want to weaken below the, below the surface either. And there's, there's products you can do, you can purchase for this. But initially, this is the way it was done. It was done with water. And I've done it a day later, gotten that cream off, and it, depending on the temperature, um, with, a, with a power washer. Uh, the rider's actually uh, in, in really light, light on the power washer, and get that beautiful exposed. Um, it says the riders actually have, okay, right. Uh, obviously, you've never been on a big pour before. So, assuming facts not in evidence, and it's relative what a big pour is, but uh, I've been on pours with, uh, I don't know, was it 75 people probably on the job? Um, trying to, trying to all keep everything moving. Um, you know, if you get bigger than that, you've got multiple, malt on the job that I was at, about 75 people on that job. You've got a lot of laborers, a lot of finishers, 
You got uh, people moving the uh, pump, the pump, the uh, pump ho the hosing for the pump. Um, you know, you got some safety guys there, things like that. That doesn't matter. None of that. I mean, what what does that matter? He's saying about with a, with what with on a big pour. That 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 doesn't matter. You're going to treat the entire that why you have more people is so you can get on it and start finishing it. Not one not one crew of five people when you need it. Thirty people to be finishing so it can all be finishing so you don't have to add water to try to catch on top of the try to bring make an artificial cream. So. You know, this this is these are the people that discuss me, and I'm going to do more videos about, uh, you know, uh, asshats, contractors that claim to be professionals. In reality, they're, they're jacklegs. Um, so I'm probably correct by saying once again, you don't know what you're talking about. All right. So you know, I I I, I give narrative, right? I, I let the people talk, and I beat them the fuck down, right? So I I don't like these contractors like this. Now there's your patent, 1980s. It it's it doesn't fly. I want you guys to do your own research on ASTM guidelines, adding water. It's very specific about you cannot add water. You know that you you can't keep adding water. You you especially your initial set. You're done. You you it just need enough water to activate the concrete, the hydrate it. Uh, the the uh, your Portland or your um, Rapid set CSA products, just just to hydrate to hydrate it. As oh, I'm sorry, CSA is going to be a little different. It's going to like more water. It's got a very high heat content. All right, so that that's what I want to do here. Do concrete and talk about water, the surface. Um, you're going to expose your aggregate. You're making a weak surface by adding um, water to the top of it. Now he's retracted part of his. Uh, a little water to burn the floor, bro. You don't know what you're talking about. So obviously, I'm offending this lady here um, because of what because of my comment there. He's in support of adding water. Um, that's because you don't have the right manpower, and you're a hack. You 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 don't pay. I have enough employees professionally to do the job properly. If you're adding water to it, that's an unprofessional site, and frankly, uh, you wouldn't get paid by me. Yeah, I'd, I'd make sure you wouldn't get paid. I'd have it on videotape and everything, and uh, your ass would be in court for uh, adding the for for that because no one recommends adding water when you're finishing concrete. Now, add water to the surface um, when you when you don't have an uh, when, you know for whatever reason this clown's coming up with. Now, add water to the surface as you're finishing with a trowel machine. Add water to the surface now. No, no, no concrete. You cannot add water to the, to it without a cost. It water will displace as it enters the the surface. There, it will displace the surface, and that's when you get your delamination. Let's just use an exaggeration. I'm end the video at this. Let's say you have a one foot square of a of a of a dry concrete that needs to be finished, and he has no strength to to really grub at it. All right, or he let it he let it get go. He let it go obviously too far. So he's now going to add a water on top of it to try to make an artificial cream to start now rubbing it. And then hope the hope is that it, it dries equally and still bonds with the surface below. Well, that's a good way to delaminate it. Again, that's how you expose concrete by rinsing off the, the paste above. And so you're adding the concrete. So I say that, you know, be careful. Guys, don't don't believe it. No matter what they tell you about 23 years, and I've been doing this, and I know this, and I know that. Look, it, it, it that's just asshat talking. It's not professional. So remember, professional professionals uh, fix their fix their mistakes, if you will, because mistakes happen. Fix the mistakes. Um, um, jack legs cover up their mistakes, and they come up with all types of excuses why. Why it's uh it's the proper way now, such as this. All right, hope this was helpful. I'm gonna do more videos like this uh, I, on my other channel. You guys liked it and said that you want me to do more critique videos.